All through our marriage, we have never said the big D word, ever. That has never been a choice. That has never been in our vocabulary. But it's those moments of times, and I think as believers and, and followers of Christ and having the Holy Spirit in us, I think we can tap into that knowing that nobody's going anywhere. And if you're leaving, I'm going with you. How did you meet your spouse? And from that meeting, how have you, um, what advice would you have for somebody dating? What's something you did right, something you did wrong that you want to pass on to those maybe right now who are dating? You know, I, I think I always look back because when I got married, I was I was extremely young, um, didn't have a clue what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> but I fell in love with Mr. Love um, <laughs> and met him at church for the first time. And then the next time, or no, I take that back. The first time I met him, it was a youth outing. Um, and I met him at a bowling alley. That doesn't sound romantic at all. Um, but he smiled. <laughs> He smiled and I was like, oh, he's just so amazing, you know? Yeah. And uh, he was very direct when we talked. But the one thing I know I did right, and that was I submitted to my leaders. Mm. And yeah. I can always go back to that moment. Lord, I submitted to my parents. I submitted to my pastor. Mm. Um, at one point, he, you know, our pastor was like, okay, well, I want y'all to separate and I want y'all to pray and I'm going to pray. Um, because it's so crucial who you marry. He knew the call that I had on my life. And um, mm -hmm. and so I submitted. And as much as mm -hmm. I was in love and as much as I knew this was the one and I had mm -hmm. all, I said, God, you know what? I can't see 10 years from now. I can't see 20 years from now. Yeah. You've given me a man to God who has looked over me and I'm going to submit. If they say no, you know what? I'm going to live. I'm mm -hmm. going to live. Mm -hmm. And I was crying out mm -hmm. to the Lord. And, and I tell people all the time, you submit to your leaders, submit to people that God has put in your life because they can see further than what you can see. I got married. I think I was about yeah. 19 years old. I couldn't see, <laughs> you know, yeah. and, but yet I had parents who love God and parents who have been married yeah. and, and stayed married. I had, I had a pastor yeah. And, and even though it was strict and it seemed unfair, I was willing to submit. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. there's been times throughout yeah. my 36 years where I said, now, God, you know what? You're going to have to fix this because I submitted. Mm -hmm. I did what you told me to do. Yeah. And so you're going to have to come through. And, and so that's the one thing I know I did right. And I'm trying to share that mm -hmm. with as many people who are dating as possible. Yeah. Submit to the leaders of your house, of the, of the church. My husband, Aaron, and I, I told you guys a couple of days ago, we've been married almost 20 years this year, so it feels like a really big year. But we met when we were both in college, and I has I had just started following Jesus, you guys. I had been a hot mess for the for the years leading up to this, but now I was following Jesus. I wanted him to be my Lord. And I met Aaron at church, which is always, I always feel like, what a great place to meet a man, right? Is that, so I met him at church. And we dated for a year and a half. And I think one of the best things about our dating relationship was, is we built it on friendship. And I had every dating relationship I'd ever had previously before that was basically built on sexual attraction or physicalness in our, in our relationship. And, and now I was a new believer and I had changed that part of my life. And I knew that I, I didn't want to, I wanted to do what God wanted best for Aaron and I in our marriage and for us to yeah. wait um, until we were married to have sex. And so it forced me for the first time ever in a relationship to build it on friendship. And I can say, 20 years into marriage, I am so grateful for that friendship that was built because, I mean, sex is great and awesome. And that's not what we're talking about today. But 20 years in, four kids later, <laughs> it's different than the first year. It's different than the very beginning. And so I'm grateful that our foundation um, right. wasn't built on something that I knew was going to change, right. but it was built on a friendship. And, you know, our friendship 20 years ago is laughable at how much closer we are today. But then it was it was just our foundation. So I say too, that's one of the things that we did well was building our dating relationship and our engagement on friendship because it has sustained us through some hard times in our marriage. My grandmother, I was sitting with my grandmother in the living room of her of her house. They always watch Praise the Lord every night. This we're talking 38 years ago. And um, I'm sitting in there and she says, honey, she said, 
I'm praying, and she points to Paul and Jan on the TV, and she said, I'm praying that you meet their son. And this was my grandmother. Oh. And I just turned and wow. looked at her. I thought, well, that's kind of the funniest thing you've ever said. A few months later, I find myself on an elevator with Jan Crouch in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And one of the first things she said to me, she looked at me and she said, do you mind how, how if I ask how old you are? She said, I'd like for you to meet my son. And all of a sudden, <laughs> that clicked <laughs> inside of me. And it's a long story, but it's a great story. And we, um, Matt and I met that night through his mom. And um, I'll always, I've always leaned into that. I've always leaned into the fact that my grandmother was praying, right. you know, and I can recall that. Wow. And then we broke up for a year in, mm -hmm. in the middle of all that, which a lot of people don't know. We broke up and I re-met re him once again back at my grandmother's church in Phoenix, Arizona. And that wow. uh, when, when, I, when we said hello again, it was like the Lord just fixed everything. We were married just a few months later. But I wish every person had that to lean on because mm -hmm. all, through, mm -hmm. all through our marriage, we have never said the big D word mm -hmm. ever. That has never been a choice. That has never been in our vocabulary. But it's those moments of times, and I think as believers and, and followers of Christ and having the Holy Spirit in us, I think we can tap into that knowing that nobody's going anywhere. And if you're leaving, I'm going with you, you know, and, and yeah. that, that we will always, we know you'll always be together. So you might as well just get mm. happy. If you're in a, in a little fight or a big fight, you might as well just get through it yeah. quickly because you know that nobody's going anywhere and that God will help us through it.